mean is we will seek out proof that that record playing in our head is correct. I'm going to say that again. We've created this belief system. And unless we pre-program, I'm going to talk about that a little bit later on. We actually will continue to seek out that sound, that rhythm, that negative or that positive pre-programming that we have, that self-talk. Now, what I have learned, and I use my, my kids as an example, specifically my daughter, um, she got hurt playing basketball. And so as we have been going through the rehab, she has turned herself into a completely different player. She's gotten herself in better shape. Her body is just overall stronger. She's gotten leaner. I mean, she's so much more confident. And a part of that process, what I did was I would send her these two text messages. Um, where's my phone? Um, oh, my phone's right here. All right. But one of them says I am or my body is strong. And I am ready for 40 minutes of intense dominating basketball today. And we, we have a tournament coming up next week in Las Vegas. And at the beginning of those, those texts, I would also add in there that I am my body is strong and I'm ready for 40 minutes of dominating basketball in Las Vegas because I wanted her to target toward that and be very intentional about planning herself for this event. And I also would tell her. Um, I would send her these text messages and these are the very things that I was practicing in my life. I would tell her, uh, tell herself, I'm proud of you and I'm committed to my goals. And what's the other one? I would say, Chanterelle, tell yourself that you're proud of yourself and that you are committed to your goals. And dang it, I can't even remember exactly the other one. But I would send her these two text messages and to pre-program herself because there's a lot of data out there that can get in the way of of uh, what she's trying to do. Now, how does that apply to where I'm at right now? Well, first of all, you have to think in terms of this book that I'm promoting. The book was is based on that foundation is that. You have to reprogram yourself if you're going to try to go to some place that you have never been before, because if you're sitting on your old ideas and everything, you can't move forward. So think, think in terms of this research. There's some research out there that says that at the age of 13, you really kind of are set in a lot of the ways that you think about things. There are there are other things that come about later on that that transform people. But the majority of people and I heard this statistic. Um, this other statistic, and that is 50% of people don't even leave their hometowns. I'm out here in Phoenix, Arizona. I grew up right outside of Chicago, and I've been out here for years. Um, but that's amazing when I heard that. So when you think about pre-programming, those people that are, that are still in their same neighborhood have been pre-programmed and just adopted that, that way of thinking. So look at this. At 13, you're pretty much set. So those are the 50% that are still there. But you have another barrier is from 13 to 25 because we see this in, in insurance. Car insurance goes down because they know that you're pretty much set in how you're going to be as a driver by the age of 25. So your rates can go down because you're less of a risk. Well, that same thing applies to life. By the age of 25, you are pretty set solid in how you see politics, how you see religion, how you see uh, sexual relations, um, just how you view education, everything is pretty much set. Now think about this. I was in prison at the age of 33, 32, 33, 34, 35. That, that was the, the years that I was in prison. Now think about this. If I had reached this point of thinking by 13, then it was solidified by my other life experience up until the age of 25. Now here I am eight years beyond that I have a pretty hardcore uh, view on the world, but now I'm about to exit prison as a divorced, failed athlete with barely a high school diploma and a felony conviction. So while I was in prison, I was pre-programming myself to deal with this. So now I come out of prison, I go to school, I get a degree. Okay. 
So I get a degree and then I start figuring out how to navigate myself through this world and I start a couple of businesses. So here I am right now, I'm, I'm, you're looking at a ghost because people that go into prison usually cannot reprogram themselves how to get out of that because I had a lot of baggage and I've, and I've told you guys about that. Abusive home that I grew up in. Started school at such a very early age that I always felt that I was behind. Sometimes a year and a half, two years behind uh, my classmates. As I, as I look on Facebook and look on Instagram and look at their birthdays, I was way behind. And so that's huge in the development.